Welcome back, Ursulings, to our Pokemon Platinum Randomized Nuzlocke. This is episode 8. Last time, we made our way through that forest thingamajig and caught ourselves a few new encounters. And, uh, this time, I think we're gonna try and take on the second gym, if possible. Uh, is there anything else I need to say? I don't think so. We're gonna do a quick team recap. Just because... First up on our list, we have uh, Surge, the level 14 Raichu, with Airlock, Thundershock, Tail Whip, Quick Attack, and Thunderbolt. Not bad. Up next, we have Amtrak, the level 14 Laron, almost level 15, with Water Absorb, holy camoly. And uh, Amtrak knows Rock Smash, Harden, Mudslap, and Headbutt. Okay. After Amtrak, we have Bluebulls, the level 17 Horsey. Holy cow, Bluebulls, you are way up there. With Unburden, uh, Bubble, Smokescreen, Icy Wind, and Water Gun. Okay. After Blue Bulls, we have our Choice Banded Shaolin 6XP from level 19. With uh, Huge Power. <clears throat> with Mock Punch, Lear, Ember, and Brick Break. Tell me that isn't broken. Try to convince me. After Shaolin, we have Shrek, the level 15 Drapion. With the uh, compound eye, so she's not going to be missing anything. And she has Bite, Poison, Sing, Leer, and Pin Missile. And last but not least, our newest addition to the team, since we did lose happiness in the previous episode. Unfortunately, our first loss of this lock. Um, we have Chilakazam, the Alakazam. And he's Chilakazam because, you know, he loves that chili. That's why he's holding two spoons. He goes to the Super Bowl because they're like... He's like, why... It's called a Super Bowl, why is there no chili? Anyway, that is a high special attack stat. He has Frisk, which is like a pretty typical psychic type ability, like Gothita, I believe, can get that ability and stuff. And he knows Teleport, Kinesis, and Confusion. I'm surprised he didn't teleport away when I tried capturing him. Anyway, we're going to try training him up in the gym. Um, I believe if we can get through the gym quick enough, we'll try entering this place and uh, it sounds a little crazy in there or it might because I'm gonna edit something in but shh, you don't need to know that <clears throat> there's also a bike shop but I'm not too concerned about that right now do we have a okay yeah we did get pokeballs in the previous episode okay she's gonna be like yo what's up and there's an item back there I'm gonna grab that Hi, I'm Gardenia. I'm this town's gym leader. I, my last challenger was this awfully speedy young guy. It, was his name Tom? Yes, it was. He told me about you. He said that another challenger's on the way, so that made me antsy. At my gym, no one gets to battle without the gym leader, me, until the end. The challenger has to beat all the other gym trainers first. I'll be waiting for you in the back, trainer. Don't disappoint me. <laughs> Who dares text me at a time like this? Uh, my phone is in my pocket because if I leave it on the table, oh, if I leave it on the table, it's gonna make bzz sounds, and uh, I, I can't have that. Oh my god! Oh, this is that's right. This is platinum, so it's the weird clocky doohicker one. Um, yeah, we're gonna lead with Chilakazam. Was she not even gonna fight us if we didn't talk to her? Whatever. Swimmer Male Max has a Marowak. Level 17, okay. Uh huh. Um. Hold up. Headbutt. Okay, please don't deal too much. Okay. Water gun. Deal at least half. Question mark. Exclamation point. Please no. Please don't. Please don't do this. He's still so young. He's only level 17. My team gets wiped because of ground types. Does Bone Club have a high crit ratio? I almost want to say it does, but I don't know for sure. Okay, 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 it's fine. 
It's fine. Oh. Why didn't you do that to begin with, Marowak? Oh, goodness. I mean, that would have made you more scary, but... Anyway, when people look at me that way, it gives me chills, makes me lower my defenses. Never understood that, why having somebody leer at you would make you, like, drop your defenses. Like, it doesn't make sense. We're gonna go into Chilakazam against this Tangrowth, because we're gonna do some switch training. That's what our life is all about. You probably only know, like, Absorb and stuff. We can go Shaolin or Shrek, but Shrek doesn't have any super good moves. I think Shaolin is the way to go. We'll break break this Dewhicker. She shouldn't have... Okay, that's right. Growth is not OP in this game as it is in, like, 6th gen. Um... Yeah, you're not poison type, so Brick Break should deal, like, a hefty amount. I want to say at least 75%. <clears throat> or we can get a crit and take you completely out. That works as well. Chilakazam is going to gain a level, level 13. Okay. And Shaolin is going to gain a level. I was going to say grow, I was going to say raise, but then it ended up coming out as grain. And, uh, we don't like that life. I mean, we do, because um, carbohydrates and bread, they're all amazing. However, where are we going? Oh, yes, this is super fun. What are you doing? This is taking forever. Holy cow. Hmm. Um, let us see. We're gonna potion up yeah, we'll potion up Blue Bulls and give him a, uh, an Orin Berry. That way, next time Blue Bulls falls into yellow, then, um, forgot you had to jump. Got them hops. Then, uh, Blue Bulls will gain speed because of Unburden, I'm pretty sure. Alright, my grass Pokemon won't let you win because we're gonna tangle you up. Tangela. Coughing! This is actually a perfect matchup for Chilkazam. Unless this coughing has something that would prevent me from using this. What if it has sturdy and then it just goes for like self-destruct? Holy cow. Nope! We're good. Don't wanna jinx myself, so. Oh my goodness, how many Pokemon puns can I come up with in this episode alone? Uh huh. Let us see. Okay. Hello. Okay. I think it's fine. We can switch into um. <clears throat> Bluebles or Shaolin. I think Bluebles should be fine. It probably only knows Smog and Ember and Smoke Screen. It might know Fire Punch, which would be bad. Magmar, oh, faint attack, but you're more special. Can you not? Thank you. Unburden should speed us up now. Please tell me you can two-shot this thing. Anyway, Magmar was the original duck face. Along... What are you, a super luck Magmar? What the heck is this? We are not staying in. Literally. Like, what was that? We're not putting up with your nonsense, Magmar. Ugh. I've been busy with school and stuff, so I do apologize for not getting videos out as often as I would like. Um... Yeah, but... I've talked to, um... Silver about it, and he says, yeah, don't worry about it too much. School comes first, and I agree. But I also don't want to let you all down, for those of you who are interested in this series and everything. So I will do my best to keep getting videos up as often as I can, but if like I have any tests coming up, that will probably put a damper in my plans. Luckily this week appears to be a bit free, I'm pretty sure, but I won't know for a fact. 
until uh, I go talk to my teachers tomorrow. Please tell me those fountains are going to go down so I can... This clock is so annoying. Okay, the fountain should go away. Yep. Because we got to heal. Better to conserve our healing items. See, one thing I just noticed about that gym is that in Pearl and Diamond, I'm pretty sure, there's like a kind of pointless room before you even enter the gym itself. Like, you walk into the gym, right? And then there's just like this little room, and that's like... The only point of it was that that was where the event to talk to, um... Her name isn't Gardenia, is it? Whatever her name is, it was like... Literally the only point to it was to have that event where you speak with her right there. <clears throat> but they fixed it and they got rid of it, so now it's just a big old clock. Is this the last trainer before- yes, it is, actually. I keep doing that with my lip, I should stop. Surge your Amtrak, because Chilakazam is already level 15 and is surpassing everyone else. It's strange how quickly Abra levels up, or the Abra, Abra chain. We're gonna lead with Surge. Not many things resist electricity. Except grass and ground. But that's the exact opposite of what a Wingle is. In fact, a Wingle is quad weak to our here, our Thunderbolt here, and you're faster than us and have a Water Pulse, and don't deal too much. Thank you. Alright, and that's that trainer down. Very nice. Level 15. I don't think Surge will learn anything via level up, which is a real shame, honestly, but we still do have our TMs. This clock is literally, like, wearing on my patience. We can, we can potion up. Somebody needs to stop texting or messaging me or whatever. <sighs> We're going to lead with Amtrak, because we technically resist water, which leaves our only real weakness as fighting and ground. Ground would potentially wreck us. Because only two things technically resist ground, I'm pretty sure. That was a weird sound. That was not the sound I was aiming for. You kept me waiting. I'm Eterna's gym leader, Gardin- Her name is Gardinia, all right. The grass-type master. When I first saw you, I was convinced my hunch was right on the money. You will have a winning aura, but wait, holy cow. If that lady have a had a level 19 wingle. What will Antoinette have? And three Pokemon, no less. Cool girl, Antoinette. Beedrill! Okay. That's not a bad start. We can headbutt. You're gonna focus energy. You shouldn't know any fighting type moves, like Scyther does. It's Scyther's thing was kind of stupid. I know. Okay, yeah, I shouldn't. Okay, this is just tedious, though. Okay, yeah. We'll only speed up through, like, multi-hit moves on gym leaders. You're about to heal. Right? No. Okay, you're... Thanks. Keeps only hitting, like, two times. Drop the defense. Alright, you're healing. Drop its defense. Quad weak as heck, but we drop her defense. Alright. All right, uh, please no, okay, oh, oh, two again, but they were both crits, nice. And now is when we heal. Can't think of any uh, intelligent, intelligible commentary at this point in time. I'm trying to focus on taking out this Pokemon that is higher level than, a, yeah, higher, higher level than everyone on the team currently. It keeps only- does Twin Needle only hit twice? I'm pretty sure it does. If so, I might luck out in that sense. Huh. Question is, will you go for a second heal item? No, you will not. 
which means Beedrill is out of the picture. Hopefully that Beedrill was her biggest threat, though. 681. Is that going to be two levels, or just one and, like, a half? Metal Claw, let us do it. That is a chance to raise our attack stat, I think. We'll get rid of, um... Harden. Because <clears throat> I'm pretty sure he, she'll be able to learn Iron Defense relatively soon anyway. And that's, like, twice as good. Boltoy! Exactly a ground type, which I feared. If it has Water Absorb or Storm Drain... Storm Drain I wouldn't mind. Water Absorb would be a totally different monster. You should be slower than us, right? I forgot to put an item on you. No, thank you. Okay, well, um... Um, um, um... Hold up. I think this sh thing should only know, like, maybe Sand Tomb. Okay. And it does appear as though Baltoy is her ace. See, I did not expect her to switch out when I switched out, so that was really strange. We're gonna leer you, because you should... Like, I know for a fact one of your abilities is Solid Rock. I don't know if it is your ability, though. Stun Spore, alright, that's fine, whatever. Um, we have dropped your defense one stage. Mega Drain's kind of annoying. Can you please not? 11 damage? What? 11 HP, rather. That dealt a fair amount. Um... Question is, do we want to stay in, or do we want to switch into Shaolin, and since you have a defense drop, we can Brick Break, even though it's not very effective, and still deal hecka damage. I'll leer you one more time if we can break through. Please don't crit. Let us see here. Leer, alright. Down by two. You're at minus two. You're about to Mega Drain again, because you're not going to predict these hands. <clears throat> Shaolin, the ultimate Pokemon on our team. Like, seriously, he's, like, the most OP Pokemon on our team. Because, huge power, starter, fighting type, Brick Break. Let's go. Minus two defense, so I pre I'm pretty sure that negates the... And a crit. Okay. It negates uh, its non-effectiveness or whatever. So it should have dealt like normal damage. But then it was also a crit. So, Bubble Beam. That is a lot better than Bubble. Which means we gotta switch that out. <clears throat> my voice is losing itself. I'm losing my voice just a bit. Okay, Baltoy... Um, I'm gonna switch, hmm, can Shaolin take this out? Cause Psybeam is scary, and Sand Tomb wrecks everything. Everything, everything, I keep talking out of my throat instead of with my mouth, and that's why it sounds kind of funky when I'm talking. It's not the end yet. Um, Ember or... No, wait, we're locked into Brick Break. What am I saying? Choice. Yep, alright. Well, that's it. That's Gardenia. Whew. I promised King Articus I would not lose Horsey. No matter what. Bluebles. He said, if you lose Horsey, if you lose Bluebles... I'm going to be so upset. Or something along those lines, and I was like, you have my word, I will not lose bluebles. Anyway, we just got our second badge, which means uh, absolutely nothing, really, except that we have a second badge now. If this were 
the Ursa lock or a Shady lock or something like that, then we would have earned ourselves a token given the Ursa lock rules, but apparently... Belly drum? Okay. I mean... Mmm. Mmm. See, what we could do is take off the uh, choice band, possibly, and um, maybe teach Inferna Belly Drum if he can learn it, and then just mock punch everything with huge power. Oh, the possibilities! Oh my gosh. <clears throat> my voice, though. Actually, we should get some potions. How far into this are we? Okay. About 20-ish minutes. Kind of a shame how, um, if you buy 10 Pokeballs, you get a Premier... Yeah, Premier Ball. But if you buy, um, 10 potions, you don't get, like, a Premier Potion which would be, like, pretty much the same as a... Like, a Premier Ball is pretty much just a Pokeball, but it's, like, a different color. So why not, when you buy ten potions, you also get a Premier Potion or something, like a promotional potion that, um... Same general idea, heals your Pokemon maybe only 20 or 30 HP, just as, like, an extra incentive for you to buy potions, you know? Okay. Um, we can get this from you. I am the first to have gone underground. I'm the underground man. Here, take this gift. It's the Explorer Kit. I don't want you to teach me how to use this, though, because we have to go do stuff. Can't force you to accept my proposal. Yeah, you can't really, sucker. Alright, um, we healed. Now I'm gonna put my editing to work, and you should maybe start hearing, um, some nice uh, election in the background as we approach this here building. Oh shoot, that's right. We have to teach somebody cut. Mm. Do we have cut? Yes, we do have cut. Who can learn cut? I'm leaning towards Shrek. Yep, Shrek is gonna learn cut. In exchange for... You're not really gonna miss Pen Missile. I think Poison Sting. It's fine. It's fine. It's whatever. We'll learn a better Poison type move in the future. I do like having Leer, though, because then we can drop defenses of somebody else. And, uh, yeah. It's gonna be a great time. Before we enter this place, I'm pretty sure there's, like, a TM over here. So... It's just that music in the background. Maybe, if I'm sticking to my word, which I probably will because it sounds like a... It sounds like a fun little idea. Hopefully I don't, hopefully I don't get stopped via, uh, because of some copyright claim or something. But I'll be sure to leave the music info in the description. So if you like the sound of this techno dance music, then you can be like, whoa. I like that. <laughs> Alright. Alright. I get the idea, I get the picture. There should be an easy way to tell which is the correct and which is the incorrect. Apparently. I'm pretty sure it's the ones with the pa it's the the staircases with the papers. But, um, could be wrong. Do we want to do a double battle, is the question. I don't see why not. We are acquiring Pokemon for the most amazing thing ever. Mm. So sorry, sweetie, this tingle I can't do a feminine voice. I mean, I could, but I prefer to, like... Uh. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh. 
Okay, no shadow tag. I mean, I would have told me beforehand, but um, yeah, this is scary. Heal Bell, okay. Making the prediction that we would paralyze them with... What? Broken? Oh. Okay. <clears throat> well. Okie doke. Uh, please. What the heck? Oh my gosh. You can pin missile Celebi, right? And I'll also Ember Celebi. Why? You gotta do this. Stop, please. I swear, Dustnor, if you hit. Shaolin, I will lay waste to your kind for all eternity. Alright, Celebi is gone. Dusknor, I swear on my life. I swear. I mean it. <clears throat> no. Okay. Oh my goodness. Mmm, that scared the living bananas out of me. Alright. Shrek, get rid of that there, Dusk Noir. It's probably Dusk Noir, isn't it? Because, like, think about those old movies and they're like, Noir is the theme or the name. Or whatever it's called. Um. Chill Kazam is level 16, alright. Oh my gosh, my heart is still just like... Mm. I don't like any of this, honestly. You already have the dark typing, don't you? And then... Okay, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna make predictions. We're gonna do a switch with both of our Pokemon. Alright, Harden, that's fine. And Fury Swipes, it's whatever. I was expecting Staryu to go for a Water-type move on uh, Shaolin. Didn't really pan out that way. But it doesn't really matter, because Staryu should be gone pretty dang soon. We're gonna Metal Claw Stunky, actually. One shot? Yes. Surge, so good. Is it just me, or are we, like, a little bit underleveled? Maybe just a bit. Just a teensy tiny bit. Okay. That was more stressful than I would have liked. Uh, 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 um, mm. Hold up. Before we talk to anybody else, gotta heal. Do we have any healing items? I just bought potions, didn't I? We should be good to go, actually. Uh, my goodness. Pain. Suffering. Alright. So we'll actually have, um... No, stop. Amtrak up in front. Will we be able to make it through here? In the next... Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Our objectives are incredible. Yeah, whatever. Unknown, please don't have oh we're not gonna we're not gonna play this game. We're not gonna play these games. Shrek, let's go. Okay, we're fine. Everything is awesome. Cool, you're gone. This might be a slightly longer episode, maybe, depending on what we run into. But I'm trying to get stuff. Black glasses. Hmm. Go ahead and pop those on, um. Shrek here. Stop. Oh my gosh. Please. Alright. Eh. Speeding up so fast. Okie doke. 
So you want to fight all the trainers, but at the same time I also want to beat Jupiter in a timely fashion. Working hard to find new energy sources, yeah, yeah. So technically I want to go that way. I mean, they're, gonna, they're not gonna fight me unless I say anything. Alright. No items over there. It's fine. We could fight that guy. What is even up that way? We'll check it out. But this music is pretty baller. Not gonna lie. Question is, will you use a grass type or a poison type move? Hmm. Um. Hmm. I mean, neither really affect Shrek. Oh, okay. Sweet scent. Bite. Get Shreked. Haha, it actually works since his name or her name is Shrek. I do not regret my decision in naming you that, Shrek. Surge is level 16? Yeah. <clears throat> Items, yes. A berry. Nice. And the adamant orb. Okay. Setting up for when we find, um... What? Adamant? Is that... Dialga. Okay. For when we find Dialga, we're ready. Okay, just don't even fight us. That's cool. Um, I will help you, kind sir. After I get this item. They don't even care about me. Lucky egg. Whoa. Hold on. Wait a minute. Put a little love in it. If you know that song, good on you. Um, who wants to hold this lucky egg? Chillikazam! Since you already gain experience so quickly. Why not speed up the speed? What speed up the rate at which you can gain levels? And I know I sounded a little bit constipated there for a second. I do apologize. We're gonna take on Jupiter. Uh, I think we're like 32 minutes into this right now. Which puts us at not that bad of a position. Okay, Bulbasaur, not bad. We're five levels below. Okay, Bulbasaur with Frisk. Same ability as our Alakazam, actually. No. Um, please don't deal too much. Okay. We are going to move faster than you. <clears throat> and you're going to like it. Yep, alright, that is Bulbasaur down. That is a lot of experience. Porygon 2. I don't want to mess around. We don't want to mess around, because Porygons are kind of crazy. If it has an Eviolite, which I don't even think existed until 5th Gen, then we're not gonna have a fun time, but I don't think that really exists until 5th gen, so... Break, break. Direct. Huge power. Choice band. Infernape. Fighting type. Stab. Super effective. What more do you want from me? Grudel, level 21. Flame Wool, that's what we've been looking for. Now we can get rid of... Ember. Because I'm pretty sure Flame Wheel is physical. And uh, now Shaolin is pretty much unstoppable. Pretty much. It's okay though, our official Pokemon statue investigation is over. We're pretty much finished here. I'll let you in on one little thing. Our boss is research researching the myths of ancient Pokemon. Myth mythical Pokemon Team Galactic is OP, and you, you got my Clefairy back. Thanks. Came from space. Hand it over. I'm just paraphrasing at this point. He wants us to meet him at the cycle shop to pick up a bike, which we're gonna do, because bikes are pretty cool. Dang it. The vibe has totally been killed now that Team Galactic is gone. 
If nothing else, they at least have a decent taste in, like, like, dance music or something. Ah, uh, well. Can't really be helped. Is there an item up in the top left area as well? I have no idea, and I can't see anything, so I'm not really going to bother with it. We'll pick up our bike. Cynthia! Why? I'm trying to progress, and you're just like, no, here's some more plot. Oh, there you are. I was looking for you. I've got something nice. I wanted you to have this Pokemon egg. Will you accept it? Oh, you have six Pokemon with you already? You don't have room for this egg. You have to store Pokemon first. She'll be waiting right there. Well, okay, one second, guys. This is going a lot longer than I anticipated. But that is okay. Since I'm not around as often anymore. Oh my goodness, I swear if this egg hatches into a fire type. Um... Hmm. We'll put Amtrak away for now. Pick up that egg. And, um... Grab our bike, and then call it. Well, will you accept this Pokemon egg? Can you even say no? Keep that egg with you in your, po in your party of Pokemon. A Pokemon will hatch from it while you are traveling. I would be happy to know what it will, that it will help fill another page of your Pokedex. See you again. Thank you, Cynthia. She is pretty baller, though. It doesn't seem to be close to hatching. That is unfortunate. Oh well. All right, so he's gonna give us a free latest model bike. Just pretty dope, as the kids might say. Press B to speed it up from third gear to fourth gear. Alright, I will keep that in mind. Why didn't they just do that in third generation where they combine the mock and the acro? But it's none of my business. I think. Okay. Yeah, at the end. No, what am I saying? We're gonna end this episode off here, pretty much. And at the beginning of the next episode, I'm going to just go ahead and uh, hatch the egg. Because I know, for me, that I just hate all the anticipation that goes into, like, waiting for an egg to hatch. So, that's what's going to go down. Start of next episode is going to be egg hatching. Maybe a bit of training as well. We'll see. Anyway... That is the end of this episode. Thank you all very much for watching. I am Zianursa, and um, I am very... I hope you enjoyed what... How do I end off episodes normally? Um, I like to bring you all more content, more stuff that you enjoy, and more content that you enjoy. Uh, I'm ridiculously redundant, and thank you very much again for watching. Uh, and uh, we're going to call it there for now, as I already said. Redundancy. It's a fatal flaw of mine. Anyway, thank you all again, and goodbye.